Middlesex's Chris Rogers batted throughout the final day of the LV County Championship match in Liverpool, securing a brilliant 100 along the way to comfortably earn his side a draw and deny Lancashire their first win of the season. Rogers was batting first thing on 16 with his side on 29 without loss in pursuit of 429 runs to win. More realistically, the last day was all about survival rather than trying to force an unlikely victory and Middlesex played out 84 dot balls from the first 108 they faced. These shots being the exception rather than the rule. If Lancashire thought wickets would fall as Middlesex went after their target, they were mistaken. The pitch at Aigberth, often a paradise for spinners on the last day, offered the bowlers very little and Rogers with Sam Robson had very few problems protecting their wickets. The biggest threat did indeed come from Simon Carrigan. Rogers was a tad fortunate that this ball didn't clip his stumps. Other than that, Lancashire created few opportunities and both openers eased to their 50s. Rogers came off 115 balls, while Robson's came shortly afterwards off 143. Both batsmen had struck six fours. The one wicket Lancashire did manage in the day came 10 minutes before lunch with a total on 104 and there was an element of fortune in that as Robson was strangled down the leg side by Kyle Hogg for 50. Rogers is currently leading the Middlesex side as Neil Dexter searches for form and the former Derbyshire skipper is clearly a man who enjoys the additional responsibility. As an Australian, he probably enjoyed the fierce heat more than most too. With the loss of Robson, Rogers had been joined at the crease by Joe Denley, who's made a good start to his Middlesex career since leaving Kent. Lancashire did their level best to try to dislodge him, but it was becoming apparent that the outcome of this match was not going to match the thrilling late victories for Lancashire against Hampshire and Yorkshire a year ago. As the afternoon wore on, Rogers moved almost without effort towards three figures for the first time this season. And he got there as Ashwell Prince was given a very rare bowl. Rogers' ton had occupied 203 deliveries and that drive brought him his tenth four. He got there half an hour before tea, by which time the game was as good as saved. He was out, but off a no ball on 112 before he eased his way to the end of the match, by which time he'd been batting for nearly six hours. It looked as if he may have been able to go on forever as he eventually made his best score since hitting 145 for Middlesex against Northamptonshire last August. Denley also completed a 50 before the captains agreed on a draw, which had been a certainty for some time. Denley was still there at the close, having batted for more than three hours for his 61, his half-century coming off 135 balls. They didn't bother with the last hour and the match petered out. Middlesex were never in with a shout of reaching 429. This was only the second draw in Liverpool in the last 14 matches, which just shows how well Middlesex played. They ended on 265 for one with Rodgers on a magnificent 138. Middlesex took six points for their efforts, enough to keep them in fourth place in the table. Lancashire had to settle for nine, which means that they haven't been able to pull away from the bottom two as they would have liked.